Hello, third grade artists. This week we're going to start week one of a two week project, which is going to be a Chinese dragon puppet. This week we're going to draw a Chinese dragon head together. And I just want to review with you sort of how that might look different than a dragon you're used to seeing. So a Chinese dragon is said to have the head of a camel, the horns of a stag, which is a male deer, the eyes of a demon, the ears of a cow, the neck of a snake, the belly of a clam, the scales of a carp, the claws of an eagle, and the paws of a tiger. So a Chinese dragon is a combination of all these different animals to be this sort of symbol for power and strength and good luck. So let's start drawing together. All right, third grade artist here is my finished Chinese dragon. And let's start at the beginning. You're just going to need a regular sheet of copy paper. I'm going to fold mine in half so that the short ends are touching. So sometimes we call that hamburger fold. I'm going to draw just on half of the paper today. But I do want you to keep that other half underneath so we can use that next time. So let's start in the center of our paper. That's always a good place to start because it's kind of an easy place to find, right? Let me make sure my fold is correct. So in the center, we are going to see our dragon's nose. So I'm going to touch the center of my paper that I'm drawing on now. And I'm going to draw two circles. I think my circles are about the size of a dime, if you need, need a reference. So after you have two dimes next to each other, we're going to draw a curved line, kind of like on the outside of each dime, kind of like parentheses, hugging them in. After you have those parentheses, I think I need to go a little farther, but we're going to make a triangle pointing up on the top to connect the two parentheses together. And then we're gonna try to repeat that shape on the bottom. So for me, what I'm gonna do is put my pencil on the top point of that triangle, and then I'm gonna pick it up and move it down so I can find kind of where the center is, where that point is. And now I'm just going to connect the bottom of those parentheses up. So that's gonna give me kind of a similar little pointy shape right underneath that top triangle. We're going to make a really long triangle to make the shape of our dragon's nose. So again, I'm gonna start on the top of that triangle and I'm gonna pick up my pencil and then move straight up, make a little mark up there. Um, I, I guess maybe for me, that's maybe three fingers away. And then now I'm going to draw two diagonal lines down to come to the sides of the nose. So each side, so a diagonal down to the left Diagonal down to the right, it's like an ice cream cone that fell over. So now that we have this really big ice cream cone shape for his nose, let's draw some detail. So we're going to repeat this type of line, which is sort of like this uh, triangle point up line. So I'm going to just start on the side here and draw another triangle point up, making sure it's kind of in the middle. I think I'm only going to fit maybe three of those in here to give it a little shape. Remember, your drawing might look a little different than mine. That's fine. We're just trying to get some of these similar features, right? Because a Chinese dragon, we want to make sure it looks like a Chinese dragon. So let's stay up here since we're kind of drawing up right now and then move on to these two eyes. So to draw these really big eyes, I'm going to come down from this very top point and I'm going to draw kind of a, I'll start on the side of my dragon and draw a really nice big curve, a nice big rainbow. And then let's do another one, curve on the other side, a nice big rainbow. I'm making really big eyes. I just like to draw big eyes, that's up to you. So if you have these two up curves for your eyes, you know what comes next, two down curves. So this is kind of like a rainbow. Now I'm gonna draw like a little gentle smile curve to connect the two ends of the rainbow together. So I have those nice, almond eye shapes. If yours aren't exactly the same size, that's fine. I don't think mine are either. Let's draw some circles in the inside of those eye shapes. And now we're going to give him some, I guess, kind of like eyelashes. I um, am going to draw three points. I guess it kind of looks like a crown that's leaning to the side. So it's a um, 
using diagonal lines and zigzags. So I'm going to draw a line that kind of sticks out on the diagonal. Can see how it's not straight up and down. It's kind of going out to the side. And then I'll go down, up, down, up, and then back down to the other side. So let's do that again on this other side. I'm going to go diagonal out, and then down, up, down, up, down again. Now maybe you have more than three. That's just my idea today, okay? So we have these nice eyes started. Let's start to move down and think about some of the details down here. Chinese dragons are often drawn with these really big like whisker shapes. So for me, I made the whiskers coming up in my example. They could also come down if you'd like to do your whiskers coming down. I'm going to draw them up again. So what I am going to do first is this little kind of mustache shape. So I'm going to start again in the center. And I'm going to follow that line I already have and then just curve up a little bit. Let's do that over here too. Start in the center, follow the line you have, and then curve up. So we made that curve similar to the curve up here. And then I think I'm going to make these little things, instead of curving down, I'm going to make those go up this time. So I'm going to just go make a little kind of loop up. Now I can add a second line to make this line into a shape. So I'm going to start at the end. And I'm going to follow the line I already did. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at this top line and I'm going right underneath of it to try to make this just kind of like a little thicker. So same thing over here. I'm looking at the top part of the line and following on the bottom to make that kind of mustache shape. So now let's give our dragon some teeth. So I'm going to look at the sides of the nose. That's kind of like where I'm going to draw the teeth if I'm looking at those sides. So I'm going to draw a curved kind of tooth, and then a straight tooth, another straight tooth, and then a curved tooth. See how the teeth are just about as wide as his nose? Now let's draw a kind of a U shape for his tongue. And then now I'm going to draw a really big U shape. I'm going to draw this line, and then a second U for his nice open mouth. So I'm starting here a little bit wider than the width of his nose. And we're going to go curve, down, 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 kind of straight out, and then back up. Let's do another one. Down, 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 curve around, and back up. So now he's got his bottom of his chinny chin chin. Let's draw a zigzag line down here for some teeth on the bottom. And then also these zigzags kind of point up. Let's do some zigzags pointing down so he has this little kind of chin beard. Now he's got a nice little beard. He's got his nice little mouth and tongue. I'm going to draw these whiskers that curve up now. I'm going to start here again. And let's follow this line up. Curve up. Kind of looks like a letter S, right? So let's do the same thing we did with these whiskers on the bottom. And start and kind of follow the shape we already made. Start right next to the shape. And then I'm just looking at the other line I made to make sure it's all kind of similar. Now, all we need to do is ears and color. So I'm calling this part his cheek, I think. And I will start, hmm, I guess this is up to you how you're going to put your ears on. I think I am going to start my ear down here, down low, kind of how I did in this drawing. So my ear is going to make, be made up of two curves, kind of like a sideways curve. And then I'm going to start at the point and then curve the other way. So the ears are kind of big curvy ears, curvy pointy ears. Okay, let's connect them together with a line. And then I connected them together with another line just so it would make sure his head's big enough. If you want to, I added another little kind of like an M, a curvy M inside his ears sort of for like the, maybe some fur. So now... Your last job is just to use some colors to color in your dragon. I did mine by tracing with black first and then coloring in, making to sure to use lots of red because, as you know, red is an important lucky color in Chinese culture. All right. So good luck creating. I can't wait to see your dragon heads. Make sure you save your finished here. Save your finished dragon head so we can turn him into a puppet next week. Happy creating.